let them eat cake. That's such nonsense. I would never say that. She tries so hard to fit in, but it never seems to be enough. Even her closest friends feel fake now. Getting out of bed is a mission, and don't get me started on the state of her room, but her excuse is she has no time even though she has all the time in the world. She sits there waiting for someone to text her as if anyone actually cared. Room number five. Show no love. Love will get you killed. Just a few hours ago, a 14-year-old girl ended up taking her life. She was found on her bedroom floor with an empty box of paracetamol on the ground next to her. There is no other side. This is it. カンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカンカン
you would even love them if they didn't love you anymore. Okay, I am about this close. I'm really fucking close to just walking out and saying, fuck this GM bullshit. Let me tell you why. So yesterday, I had to close our pool. Fourth of July weekend and I had to close the pool because the filter cover on top of the little suction things at the bottom of the pool broke. So we took it off and so now there's like suction things at the bottom of the pool that could potentially suck someone down and drown them, right? So I closed the pool for the guest's safety, okay, 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 all day long. When is the pool going to be reopened? When is the pool going to be reopened? I'm so sorry. I know it's inconvenient, but unfortunately, with it being holiday weekend, I'm not really sure because I haven't been able to get a hold of a pool company and I can't swim to the bottom of the pool and fix it myself, okay? Well, do you think it's going to be open tomorrow? I don't fucking know. God, it's hot in here. And I won't know until I talk to the pool company that I just told you probably won't open until tomorrow. Holy, holy shit. I'm getting stress pimples. Stress pimples, people. This fucking close to pork and I'm losing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry that I was annoying. I'm sorry that I was overthinking everything. I'm sorry that I was overprotecting. I'm sorry that I was texting you texts that are not important. I'm sorry for everything. I just wanted to be loved. I just wanted to be friends with you. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Stop. It's not my fault. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Can you please listen to me? AR points? 0 0.5. 3 points. See, I was a victim too. But no one ever treated me like one. Never have I been so fucking disrespected as I have today as a swim teacher. So just hopped out of the shower because I'm trying to like collect myself. But basically what happened is I was teaching at the pool today and I teach at my neighborhood pool. Like everyone in this neighborhood knows me. I've been teaching since I was 18. That's like 10 plus years of swimming and teaching here. So like most of the parents in this neighborhood know who I am. They like have signed up their kids with me before. And there's a family that I've never met that like showed up today at the pool and they are having like a birthday party or something, which is fine. It's a community pool. It's not my pool. It's not their pool. It's a pool for everybody, right? I'm teaching my kid and I have a bunch of pool toys and tools that I bring to teach kids how to swim. Some of those tools, for example, is like a bunch of rings that sink to the bottom. I have a little box of treasure that's really important to all of my students. It is like the one motivator that gets all of my kids to like have a good swim day and feel really good about themselves after the lesson. It's just these little sinkable treasures and they love these things. They count every single treasure to make sure that they have it and they've completed it. And I also have a kickboard so that these all come into play. I'm literally teaching this kid um, and she's awesome. She's doing great. And I turn over and I see in the corner of my eye, one of the kids playing with my kickboard. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure I put that up. So that shouldn't be in the water. Maybe it fell in, whatever. So I go over to the kid. And I'm like, hey, excuse me. Um, can you please put that up? Um, that's That belongs to me. Uh, please don't touch things that don't belong to you. And she's like, is it a kickboard? I'm like, yes. Okay, I'm being nice. And she like puts it up and I'm like, okay, thank you. Not even five minutes later, that little gaggle of girls um, from the birthday party, um, I turn around again and they're all over my shit. One of them has all of my rings in hand. Another kid has a ring. And the thing that like scared me the most was that one of the girls is ripping open my treasure box right now. And like, I'm getting a little upset because I'm like, uh oh no, those are very easy to lose. Those kids are not going to get them. I'm going to have to go get them. And if they lose them, my kids, all 40 something of my students that I teach here are going to be very, very upset. So I asked them, I'm like, hey, excuse me, um, can you please put those down? They do not belong to you. Please put them down. Please do not touch things that don't belong to you. And one of the girls who has a ring in her hand looks at me, dead in the eyes, and throws the ring in the water. And I'm like, that is not okay. Please go get the ring. That doesn't belong to you. <sighs> and then they go get the ring. One of them gives me like some sass back. She's like, well, I didn't throw it. And I'm like, okay, yes, but you and your friends all did. You guys are all responsible. Please get it and put it back. And please do not touch my things. Not even five minutes after that conversation, 
they go back and they're trying to rip open the treasure box again. So I use a more stern voice. I'm like, excuse me, I already asked you not to touch that. Please do not touch that. Put that down. Thank you. And at this point, I'm looking around the pool like, where are the parents? Uh, like, where are your parents? Why are they not saying anything? And the last thing that happened, not even five minutes later, one of those kids takes my face mask. Oh, I'm gonna have to do a part two. Oh my God.